Dear friends, it is the 2nd of February. You know, I spent a lot of time thinking, how do I explain Donbass for Americans? How do I explain this so Americans can actually understand this? With their limited knowledge of history, unfortunately, um, you have to find new ways. And then it came to me, Texas. All this mess, it came to me, Texas. Texas is how you explain to Americans Donbass. Now, in Texas, the Spanish government invited, and the Mexican government, invited uh, American colonists and, and other Europeans to settle in Texas because Mexicans didn't live in Texas. Very few. Uh, most of Comanches, Apaches, and so on. They invited them to uh, tame Texas. And they settled, and they lived there. And then the politics in uh, Mexico changed. And the Mexican government, forever, uh, for various reasons, which I'm not going to get into, to keep this short, uh, told Texans to get the hell out. Thanks for coming. Thanks for building. I get the hell out. We don't want you anymore. You're not the right people. You're not the right race. And what did the Texans do? They said, go to hell. We're not part of Mexico anymore then. And what did Mexico do? It sent an army to crush the Texans. The Texans started shooting back. Uh, what did America do? America, A, sent a whole lot of volunteers. An army's worth. Weapons, powder, supplies. And also recognized Texas independence. And then after some amount of time, that Texas independence turned into Texas uh, becoming a state about eight years later or so. Texas becoming a state of uh, the United States. That's Donbass, except Donbass is even more worrisome for uh, this. Because the Russians in Donbass, eastern Ukraine, they didn't come there to live at the behest of Ukraine. There was no Ukrainian government. They've lived there for hundreds upon hundreds of years long before America was anything more than uh, a, a couple of colonies starting up okay that's how long the Russians have been living there and longer actually even longer but a lot of those settlements were destroyed by the Mongols by various warring uh, groups and so on so it had to be resettled those Russians have been there for three four five hundred years and now a bunch of Nazis sponsored by the US of course who else these days uh, in Ukraine, after the U.S. Uh, Newlands uh, little coup there, come over and say, you're not the right race. You're not the right religion. Get the hell out. Either convert or get the hell out. Why should people leave the land that they've been living on for four or five hundred years? <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, Americans, you tell me. You have any kind of feeling of justice in your blood. You tell me, why the hell should Russians leave land that they've lived on for four or five hundred years because your thugs, your Nazi thugs that you put into power, have come over and said you either have to convert, bend the knee, change your religion. Yeah, change your religion. That's why you people ran away from, kind of very, uh, some of you people anyways, ran away from various countries in Europe because you had to change your religion. And now you're demanding through your proxies that other people have to change their religion to suit your whims so why what, what also they fought back and you warmed and you trained those murderous Nazi thugs to kill more and more of them and Russia recognized them after uh, it became apparent that there's not going to be any kind of peace just like the US recognized Texas and then those territories became part of Russia just like Texas became part of the US Unless you start giving up, uh, set the example, give up Texas, and make the Texas People's Republic or whatever have you, you ain't got much room to, talk, to sit there and talk and preach. It's called hypocrisy. Look it up in the dictionary if you don't know what it means. Mm hmm. So there, think about that. This has been a short public service announcement from the Slavic man, Stas. Ciao. God bless.